Next up, we're going to be talking about, uh, well, a product of a little bit of controversy, projectors. Um, projectors are used for basically tracing and copying pictures, pieces of artwork, what have you. Uh, behind me is an example of an opaque projector. An opaque projector allows you to take an actual photograph or picture, put it in, and projects it on a wall. Um, it's a uh, controversy because uh, some people like to get started with it and they can start getting great results immediately, but some teachers and instructors feel that this might be more of a, a step back than a step forward because it uh, makes you basically not force you to learn how to do different proportions and uh, different things such as that. Um, it's up for some debate, uh, but I will tell you this. Um, there is no shame in using a projector and getting started and getting confidence and instant results in your painting. Um, it's even been shown in uh, books such as David Hawking's book, talks about how there's uh, reason to believe because uh, after they took the old master's paintings and they scanned them, they found underpaintings being done and uh, it's believed that these old masters were actually setting up their own makeshift projectors using mirrors and different light sources to project images onto these walls. So it dates back to the Renaissance. Not to mention the fact that many of those painters had apprentices and how the apprentices learned was repetition and they painted again and again and again and they copied what their master did. Um, it was a very common way to learn art and um, it's still a very common way to learn art now. So uh, if you think it would be helpful to you, definitely there's no shame in trying it and giving it a shot and uh, seeing if you can get some uh, great art to start with immediately. So give it a try.